Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with form features. I have prepared two models, one is punch and second is die. We need to know or we would like to understand how it is possible to use. We will start with first feature, it's a punch form and I have tested so you can see that system load my previous file but it's possible to open the file directly by the icon and place it same as in the assembly mode so you can use the distance offset or similar placement so it's up to you so place it as a standard model in the assembly and it's necessary to select all three references for the placement and I use the bottom plane as the reference plane. You can see in the preview window that system will show you that this model for the punch form is the possible use the both side of the model. So you can choose if you would like to use the top of the model or bottom. You can really easy switch. In the option window you can set the placement edges and specify the value and then again if you for example select the different orientation plane or you will switch the orientation of the model it means if you would like to use the top or bottom the system will allow to you to create a round feature automatically the another feature is die form this model, again, I have reused, so system automatically load, but you can open by icon. The placement is same. What is the difference between the punch form and die? The die form is possible to use, as you can see, and the die form need to include in the original 3D model the planar reference plane. And if the system allow to you to place the model, you can see the system will create the die to sheet metal part. What is possible to do in option tab, you can, for example, exclude some surfaces. So we will select the surface and system automatically in dynamic preview to show the result, or you can use the preview window. If you miss some rounds, you can add on the placement edges and system allow to you the specify value and you can see it directly. What is the possible to do with the form feature? You can use the mirror or pattern. So for example, I'd like to show you that it's possible to use the pattern and you can use the any type of pattern feature. For example, here is a really quick example how to use the direction pattern and for example specify some value yeah finish the pattern and system automatically pattern or the select the second feature and use the dimension pattern specify value specify value and you can see right now that you can select that you don't want to see for example one instance for the pattern member. If you would like to see more about the pattern, try to check my previous tutorials. And I'd like to continue with another form feature and it's a sketched form. It is really useful feature because you need to create only the sketch. In the sketch you will create the base shape, for example some rectangle. And on this example I'd like to show you that you don't need to prepare some 3D model you directly use the form feature based on the sketch you can define the taper you can add some radius and specify the value and up on the external or internal edges and if you specify the value again you can select and some exclude surfaces and 
finish the feature and specify the value. On this example, I'd like to show you that if you would like to use the pattern feature, many times you need to select negative value because you would like to reuse dimension from the sketch. And if you finish, the system will create for you the pattern member again. And at the end, the last feature is flatten form. And you can see that really easy and really quickly you can create the flatten form feature. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.